What is the difference between the endocrine glands and exocrine glands? As you can say, the name is endo means inside, exo means outside. Uh, this is referred to the to where the secretions of these glands enter into. Endocrine glands, they secrete their secretions, which we call them hormones, into the blood, which is considered endo or inside. And exocrine glands, they produce their productions or their secretions outside, not into the blood, outside. When I say outside, means outside the body or inside some of the other organs, such as digestive system or lungs, respiratory system, which is considered outside the body. So, what are the examples of them? Endocrine glands examples, which produce, they produce hormones, they all enter the, the, the blood, such as pituitary gland produces all the hormones into the blood, secreting it into the blood. Thyroid gland produces all the hormones and enter, enter them into the blood. Adrenal glands, the same. But what are the exocrine glands example? Exocrine glands is supposed to send their stuff outside the body or inside the other organs, such as what? Such as sweat gland, such as lacrimal gland, which producing tears, sweat producing sweat, obviously, what, uh, uh, such as, uh, such as, uh, um, such as the oil gland or sebum glands in the skin producing oil, mostly in the hair follicles, uh, such as the organs are inside the digestive system, sorry, glands are inside the digestive system, such as the glands in the stomach, we call them gastric glands, produce acid, produce mucus, produce enzymes. The, the glands are inside the respiratory system, in your airways, produce mucus, these are all considered exocrine glands. So I hope you understand the difference of endocrine and exocrine glands.